Greetings everyone and welcome to Satisfactory. This is a game I've played multiple times on my channels, but for those who don't know, this is a factory builder. That's the short version. The slightly longer version is you're dropped on a planet and your entire purpose is to pillage it for natural resources. And you're going to be making big factories in order to make complex parts in order to feed the beast. Now the beast in this case being a gigantic space elevator. It's a link between the planet and a space station up above. It's literally like cabled together. And what happens is you're going to be feeding it loads and loads of requested parts and that's going to be opening up tiers of technology. Technology is going to be improved energy production, transportation. I mean, you're going to have trucks and then eventually trains and, of course, zip lines. You always need to have zip lines. Like I said earlier, I have played this game before, but there was a big update yesterday. Update 7. And I felt this was a good opportunity to jump back in and pillage a new planet of natural resources. And there is actually a planet I have not played yet. So why don't we just go and start a new game and select that new planet. See, this was the first one I played that originally. The last playthrough I did, I kind of did this one. This one I kind of did on my own, but it's very painful. When they say recommended for advanced pioneers, they're not kidding. You see, early on, your source of energy is going to be leaves and wood. And of course, Deserts don't have much of that, so getting energy production going early is extremely challenging, uh, otherwise known as really painful. Luckily, I have not been here. Rocky Desert, suitable for first-time players. Well, it's been a while since I played, but it does look interesting, and most importantly, I see a lot of vegetation. I also see water, which has become an important part of building factories. So let's get going and start a new game. I do believe this is my fourth series. I could be wrong. By the way, I will be skipping the intro because it's very long-winded and I have played this game before and there's no reason for you to suffer through it again. And welcome to our new home. Our, and I see some food over here which is a good thing that's the only way you can heal yourself so any chance you can get of getting that is good is this stuff that okay are those trees those are trees i'm looking for oh i'll take this that's for sure yes vegetation and wood is how i am going to power my factory in the beginning so i will take any opportunity to actually get it I will try to cut most of that out, by the way, because I'm probably going to be spending half my time doing that until we can get something more substantial going. And I do believe that is going to be coal, but that's going to be a while. All right, so the first three things we need are iron, copper, and limestone. So let's see if we can find them. Fortunately, I have a handy-dandy scanner. So let's go. That will show me the nearest spawn of uh in, okay this okay over that way 359 meters isn't bad at all and it does seem to be multiple too so let's head over this way oh that reminds me uh they're usually guarded so uh, i have my xeno zapper here is that limestone okay first things first give me all your vegetation. All of it. That limestone? That is limestone! Okay, that's very good. That's very useful to have right there. Very useful. So I don't have to go looking for that. But I will look for these whenever I see them. Alright, and we have a very nice supply of water right here, which is very good. That has become a big part of factories. Oh, I see. I see iron. I see two iron, actually. Okay, so what is walking around that is going to try to kill me? What is that? Oh, is that good? Thank you. Okay, so I got iron. This is very good. 
Oh, that's a pure spawn. Ooh. Oh, we're, do we're gonna do flies, are we? That's just lovely. That's just lovely. All right, uh, let me get in there quickly and try to get rid of this thing fast before it does immense amounts of damage to me. Ouch. Okay, and I'm going to be picking up some hatcher remains. Lovely. Okay, did... What the... It's a gift. Oh, it's that time of year, isn't it? Okay, so, I mean, are they just dropping these out of the sky? I mean, what happens if one lands on my head? Does it kill me instantly? There's your gift! A trip to the afterlife. All right, so let's just grab some of this. All right, so I have two spawns of iron. That is actually really good. And of course, we already know there's limestone over there. Do I have enough room here for the elevator? It would be tight. So we'll have to see about that. All right, and dunk. Is my gift ruined now? Okay, there's another one over there. Okay, those are mine. You can't have them. All right, and I do have a lot of vegetation here, which I am very happy with. I guess with the amount of water we have, it will make that kind of thing easy. All right, we need to locate... Here, give me those. We need to locate some copper now. That way we'll have the full triumvirate working for us here. All right, so going back to our iron... Let's see where the nearest copper spawn is. Oh, that's not too bad. Wow, 208 meters. All right, let's go. Picking up vegetation as I move along here. Okay, hi, how are you doing? I'm sorry for what I'm gonna do to your home. Yeah, until I have a chainsaw, I can't cut down trees. So yeah, it's gonna be vegetation here. Wood is much better. Oh, there we are. Okay, what is guarding the area? I don't see anything. Okay, give me this. Right, and that is a pure spawn of copper. Very nice indeed. Very nice. All right, so let me just drop one of these. Uh, this is a portable miner. They give you some of these to begin with. So what I'm going to do is put that right there you need those to make the big miners but for the moment I'm just gonna let him do some gathering for me see he's just gonna set himself up and he's gonna start doing some drilling and he's gonna fill with a hundred and then he's gonna stop because he can't hold anymore I'm just gonna grab some all right so we have located everything this is very good and they're all reasonably close to each other very useful indeed so I'm going to build that one out this way so the copper moves closer to our little factory area, which we're going to start in the, um, the iron area, of course, because iron is a critical element, and um, it's good that we have multiple spawns. All right, so where am I going to put my hub? Let's think about this for a moment. Am I going to build this one? I guess I could start with this one. So let's start with this one. We have to get rid of this big old chunk on top first. There we go. All right, so I need to place the hub. I could put it right here and then have the burners facing in that direction. I'm thinking that's a plan. If I have to move it later in order to fit the elevator in, we can do that later. All right, first things first, let's make. This is Q, this is our builder menu. This allows us to build all the things we have available to us now. When we unlock other tiers and other parts of those tiers, we will have other things. See, this is the space elevator. We could build that right now, but obviously we do not have the materials, as you can see on the lower right. But we do have a little package that's gonna give us the hub. All right, so this is our hub. And I think it's this way that the burners are. All right, let's just put this down like that. There we go. 
Okay, and the burners are over here. Good, good, good. So we're going to put biomass into those, and they're going to produce power for us. We can also make other ones. Uh, it's not efficient, but it's what we got until we get coal. All right, so I have a little bench here that I can use to do some things. Like, for instance, I did pick up some iron, so I could just hold this down and make iron ingots. Clearly, that is not what the game wants you to do, but it could be useful in some situations, like copper ingots. I can just sit here and make some of those, and if I needed a little bit of copper wire, you know, just a little bit of copper wire, I now have ingots. I could go over to wire, and I can produce some extra wire like that. There's not a lot of things you can actually make this way, by the way, but like I said, if you just need like one or two things, it can be very useful. All right, so this is the, um, the lifeblood right here. The point of this game is, of course, to fulfill your contracts and unlock tiers. Once the elevator is down, that's how we're going to move on to tier number three and four. I think we get three and four at the same time, just like we're getting one and two right now. Tier zero was actually the tutorial. Since I didn't do the tutorial, I have everything for that already. Now, tier one. Now, if we want to do base building and have all these wonderful things available to us to build floors and such like that, if we have the concrete, uh, we need to fulfill these requirements. Uh, 200 of the concrete, 100 of the iron plates, which we already have, but we need to use those for building, by the way, and 100 rods. That will give us access to all these. And uh, logistics will give us a splitter and a merger for the conveyor belts and also a conveyor lift. And I'm not really sure what that one is all about. A productivity display. I'm guessing that's something I don't know about. Field research. Actually seems like the most useful to me at the moment. I might go for that one first. Now in tier two, part assembly, an assembler. We don't need an assembler now. We don't need rotors now. We're going to wait on that one. Obstacle clearing, chainsaw, solid biofuel. Yeah, in tier two, that's the first one I'm going for. That's what I want. All right, jump pads, resource sink bonus program. So there's a shop, if you pour resources into it, you can get a currency and it will allow you to buy things for your factories like blueprints and things like that so that you can uh, advance that way if that's something you want to do. It's a pretty critical part of the game actually. And logistics, you get a better conveyor belt and conveyor stacking and another conveyor lift. So that's the kind of thing we want to do. And when we get the space elevator up, we'll see what that wants. It's going to want a lot. Okay, Mary Fisk Mess. I guess that's what the plants are all I guess that's what the gifts are all about. All right, so let's get going with this. Uh, I'm going to start working over here on this one first. All right, we'll do this one together. The rest of them I'm probably just going to do, and then you'll see what's going on afterwards. All right, so I need to clear this thing out. All right, is that the first one? The other one is over there. All right, so this one I'm going to build in this direction after I grab all of this. You'll see why I want all of that. All right, so the first thing we're going to need is a miner. The second thing we're going to need is a smelter. The third thing we're going to need is a constructor. And since I don't want it building up in the constructor, I want a storage container too. So let's go. Over to production. We're going to grab the miner. All right, right there. The miner is going to go there. And I'm going to rotate it so it's going that way. Is that the right way? Yeah, that's good. All right. All right, so the next thing I'm going to want is I'm going to want a uh, the smelter. Smelter. I just looked at constructor and it was in my head. Smelter is up because we need to turn the ore into uh, ingots. Now, you notice what I'm doing. I'm trying to line it up right there. Uh, it's for the conveyor belts. And also, I want a little bit of space there, too. I think that should be good, right? All right, and speaking of conveyors, it's on three. It's a hot key. Boom. There we go. Okay, so this is going to dig, and it's going to put the ore in here, and then the ore is going to make iron ingots. Yes, you have to select that, otherwise it won't do anything. It may say, hey, he may want copper ingots, even though he's feeding me iron. All right, so the next thing... Okay, could you move, please? Excuse me? You're in the way? 
Could, could you move, please? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so let's see here. Now we need a constructor. So we're going to do the same thing, kind of line it up here so that the conveyors work really well. I am leaving space for a reason. I may want to do splitter stuff in the future. All right, I think you have space to walk around it there. Okay, you may want to stay away from this area, though. High construction going on. All right, so here into here. There we go. All right, and of course, I mentioned that I want to store what I'm producing here for a while after I grab all of this. There we go. And let's just throw a storage container down because that is an organization and it's got an input and an output. I only care about the input at the moment. Boom. Okay, and just clear this stuff out there too. I want all of it. Give me that. Give me that one. Give me that one. There we go. Okay, so let's throw this down here. We're going this way into here. And yes, the direction you place the conveyor belt in matters. If I'd done it the reverse way, it wouldn't have worked out well. All right, so everything is now configured to go. Um, it does require one more thing, and that's power. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some power poles. So one... I have a power pole over here. So I'm going to put it kind of in the middle here, like that. Now, these power poles have four connections. As a result, I'm going to need two of these. All right, one problem at a time, though. First things first, I am going to connect this one, that is a biomass burner, to that. Notice it has one of four connections. Now, this, right here, Boom, I'm going to connect to the miner. And then this, again, I'm going to connect to the smelter. Now, you'll notice three of four. Yeah, I don't want to connect the last one. The reason is I, the connection will die at that point. You see, this biomass burner can only have one connection going off of it. So if I connect that last uh, device there, the constructor, to this then that whole circuit is dead. I can't connect anything else to it. So what I want to do instead, I'm going to make another power pole and I'm going to put it like over here. And then I'm going to switch to the connection and I'm going to say you connect to him. So that's the fourth connection for this pole, but this one has three connections open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say you connect to that. Okay, you'll notice it's still not working. Well, the reason for that is because we don't have any fuel. Did I make any biomass? I didn't make any biomass. All right, so let's get in there and let's do this. This is something you're probably going to be doing manual for a while. It's quick. It's a lot quicker than other things. So down here in biomass, it's got leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And you can see I'm actually making biomass on the upper right there. And I turned all my leaves into biomass so that I have 200. Now, if I select wood, wood is actually a lot more efficient. The stacks go only go up to 200, by the way. All right, so I have 120 there. All right, so what I'm going to do, uh, this is just telling me, by the way, you have free storage here. All right, so we're going to go over to this one and we're going to give it 200 biomass. And that thing just came to life. And that just came to life. And what that's going to do, it's going to start digging. And then we're going to see the iron ore making its trip over. There we go. And then this thing's going to come to life. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't tell the constructor to make something. Um, iron plates. For now, I want to make iron plates. Okay, so now this was converting the ore into iron ingots, and now it's going in here, and now it knows to make iron plates. So if we sit here long enough, we're going to see iron plates coming through. And there we go. We have iron plates. All right, and they are going to gather in this rather large storage container. As you can see, each of those stacks can be 200. So yeah, there's a lot of space in there. 
Eventually, you can get a, a double layer one here. They'll be like up and down and lots and lots of space. All right, so this is going to continue to go until it runs out of power, otherwise known as biomass, right? I am still collecting because you saw how quickly that went. It went very quickly. All right, so right now this little mine is working for me and it's gonna make me a whole bunch of iron plates. After a while, I'm gonna switch it over to rods because this one is just gonna be my little slush fun for now, whenever I need the plates, whenever I need the rods. Now the next one in iron that I set up is going to be specifically for screws. Now the thing about screws is you would have a configuration like this, but you would also have a second constructor. The reason for that is if we go over to here. Now, if I was making iron rods, it's the same thing as if we're doing right now. An ingot turns into a rod, right? Now, if I was making screws, the input is a rod. So you need a constructor to take the iron ingots, turn them into rods, and then you need a second constructor to turn the rods into screws. So I'm not doing that here. I'm going to do that over there. That's what I'm going to do. But at the moment, my biggest consideration is I need copper flowing. Oh boy, do I need copper flowing. And then I need the concrete flowing too. Let's deal with this first. Now, like I said, I already just set that all up right in front of you. So uh, are you going to be a problem again? Thank you. I have plenty of room over there, dude. This area is designated for construction. And this guy, of course, got me a bunch of stuff right here. No, no, no. Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. All right, and I need to get this out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to have to do all of that uh, copper by hand, ain't I? All right, so let me set up the copper production. So as you can see, I have pretty much the same thing as I have over there. There is gonna be a big difference though. First of all, obviously copper ingots. And over here, I'm gonna be selecting wire because that's what you want copper for, wire. Wire initially, cables after that. But we need wire initially, like I just said. And uh, basically, we turn wire into cables, so there's just no losing in grabbing the, uh, the wires at the moment. Okay, but you'll notice that we're really far away from that, which is good because we can actually make a portable biomass burner. So that's what we're going to do right now, right here. All right, so let's just rotate that around like this just because. There we go. All right, so we'll get that out of there. Now I'm going to need poles again, and I'm going to do the same thing I did over there just in case I need extra power because, look, the poles are really not very expensive, are they? Uh, the one thing I'm running out of at the moment is concrete. I mean, I'm going to be making wire here. I can just go back to my little construct and say, make me some iron poles, uh, but this is going to be what I'm going to need right now, so we're going to do this. Um, this one, I put one over here. Right there. There we go. Okay, so now connection time. So you connect to that, and you connect to that, and then you also connect to that, and then finally for you, you're going to connect to this pole here. Now this pole is going to connect to him. Am I out of power? Overlapping. Oh, I'm, what am I doing? I'm pointing at that. Uh, what is connected at the moment? This. This is connected, right? Wait a minute. Didn't I connect? Oh, did I miss that one? Okay, I'm very confused. Oh, I didn't do that one. Okay, that's weird. Okay, yeah, the cabling is going to look weird on that, isn't it? Okay, I really should have done this one to this one, but I guess I didn't. Well, you know, as long as it works, that's all that matters. And let's find out if it works. I have some biomass, so let's just throw that in there. And is everything working now? Okay, the miner is going. Are we going to get some copper ingots? Oh, pardon me, copper ore coming out. All right, there we go. You can see it's very coppery. 
And you can actually grab it right off of there if it's what you wanted to do. All right, so now we should be getting some copper ingots. And of course, this is going to turn it into copper wire. Yeah, I had to do a little bit of a turn here because of the trees. Don't worry, I'll kill them. All right, and you can see the copper wire is starting to build up. All right, so we look in here and we're getting the copper wire. Right, I just want this to build up lots and lots of copper wire because I'm gonna need lots and lots of copper wire. All right, so we're done with this for now. I will have to come over here to make sure that it has enough biomass uh, in order to continue. But we have one more mini factory to get going. So let's take a little trip over to our spawn of uh, limestone. And so we have our little limestone thing, which is going to give us concrete. Now, you might notice there's something missing. Oh, by the way, you might notice it's morning. It actually took me a while because I didn't have any more materials. So I had to go back to my little factories and get stuff. For instance, I had to get a bunch of the copper wire that I'd made. And I had to turn the other one into something that was making iron rods because I needed those too. But you might notice something is missing here. All right, so we have the digger, and then we have a constructor. Right, because, you know, we're going to be mining limestone, so you're not going to smelt that. But what we are going to do is we're going to turn the limestone into concrete. So that's our recipe here. So let's load this up. Oh, by the way, I did do some biomass gathering, so I do have a bunch of this. Because this one is basically just going to be working on its own for a while. All right, so let's see here. Okay, didn't I just load you up? Yes, I did. What is the problem? Did I, I, oh, you know what I didn't do? I put a pole down here and I hooked up the constructor and the miner, but I didn't hook up the, uh, yeah, I didn't hook that one up. How embarrassing is that? There we go. All right, so now they have power. And this one is going to be digging up limestone for us. We're going to see the limestone coming through. Any second now. There we go. And this one's going to turn it into concrete and put it in a nice little bag for us. Now, the thing about this one is I don't really need a lot of concrete now. This one is I'm just going to have it working by itself and I'm going to forget about it. I am going to come back over here to reload it with biomass, but the thing is, I don't really need a lot of it now. I am going to need a lot of it. I'm going to need thousands of it when we start getting to the components we need to make that require concrete. So the thing is, you can say, well, I don't really need this now. You're going to need it later. And there were a lot of combinations that did need some amount of concrete. You know, there was one that needed 200. There was a big one that needed 500. I think the, um, where is it here? The space elevator needs 500. But you know what? That's actually going to be coming pretty quickly if you look at it. I mean, we're up to 12 right now. and We've just been standing here for a couple of minutes. So if you go off and do something and come back, it'll have hundreds in it. Won't be a problem. You just have to remember to come back and refill this until we have some kind of a uh, automatic fuel gathering system. Yeah, it's just going to be picking up stuff and cutting down trees and turning it into biomass and then turning it into the, the solid fuel. That's actually more efficient. But uh, for now, it's biomass. Yeah, don't put the leaves directly into it. It just won't last very long that way. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. What else I'm going to do is I'm going to make another iron factory from the other spawn that's completely dedicated to screws. So it's going to be the same as what you see over here, only there's going to be another constructor that's going to turn iron rods into screws. So it's like I said, it's like almost the same thing. It's going to start right here and I'm going to go that way because I need space, because we do want to put down that uh, space elevator. As a matter of fact, what do we need for the space elevator? All right, so we need 500 concrete like we saw before. I need 250 of the metal plates. I need 400 rods, and I need 1,500 of the copper wire. You can see that's probably not going to be a problem. Matter of fact, I might already have 
the plates. I have 316 plates and I have 106 of the rods. So you can see that that's not really that big of a problem. As long as you get everything flowing, everything is gonna work. Isn't that right? He agrees. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Like I said, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on another mine for creating screws. Because screws, a lot of things need screws. And I don't want to interfere with this construction over here. Now, one thing you're going to notice, there's a lot of slowdowns. The most efficient machine in this line right here is the miner. The miner is doing far more than the other guys can handle unless you overclock them. Now, I don't have any power shards right now, so I can't overclock. So one reason that I left, like, space here is if in the future, when I have splitters, do I want to split them off? For instance, this miner right here, I mean, look how slow this is. When it stops, it's not doing anything, and it's got a buildup inside. You know, it's got like a hundred built up inside. So if this was splitting off to a separate uh, smelter, then it would probably be flowing a lot freer there. He might still overload two of them, but then you'd have one miner feeding another entire line right here. I mean, I would do that with the screws, except I don't have access to splitters right now. But I am making space for that in the future. That's the reason I kind of spaced them out over there in case I wanted to do splitters. Like right here, I could have a split here. This one's doing iron rods. I could have that one doing iron plates at the same time and have another constructor right here, you know, and just branch it off. It's all about efficiency. It's all about efficiency. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. If you want to see more of this, please give the video a like, maybe say something in the comments, and maybe we can cover this entire planet in factories. Ah, it would be so beautiful. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.